All right, hello YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, this was a live recording that was done at Ustream.tv. If you'd like to join in the live chat, go to Ustream.tv, search for Inky Obsessions, and click the follow button, and you should be notified whenever I go live. Um, and I have some ladies here with me already in chat. So thanks for joining me last minute. So here is what we played with last time. I tried to do one of the watercolor constellations I see a bunch of people doing. And uh, I thought that's, that's abstract enough for me to give a go. <laughs> but anyway, you can see the metal now, metallics better now that it has uh, dried. And... Um, you can see those splatters that's that bronze creamer paint there and i got some in there in the middle of that picture to the upper right in here you can see some uh, primary elements in there that's african jade i like those bronze splats against that black ink here's another hunk of that no, this isn't African Jade. This one here is um, my Creamer Lagoon, Magic Lagoon. Um, and here's some Magic Lagoon here. And again, it's not going to flash. See this little trail above my thumb starting there? There's little splats. It's going really purple here for me when I turn it, but you're not going to be able to see it. I don't know why that is. You get a little glimpse of it. It drives me nuts. Anyway, one step closer to crazy. There we are. Okay, so I don't really have a plan. I know that's a shocker to nobody. Um, hey, Carol. Hey, Christy. Um, but I was just down here playing the other day. And last night, actually. Um dig myself a hole. I was just playing with mixing weird colors together. Weird in my mind. I was testing out a couple brushes up here with little strokes and stuff. I don't have a very steady hand. But I think some of these color combinations came out really cool. Um, well, you know, those are always my favorites, right? Um, but this was Cascade Green and Lunar Blue. Look at that. Look how that granulates that lunar blue and cascade green. This was Amazonite and Opera Pink together, and that granulated really strongly in the center there where it made that purpley color. I don't remember what that was. I think that's Aussie Red and Green Gold. And these are, I think, Ultramarine, and one's transparent orange, and one is. I don't even know. I was just playing. But look at this red. This, uh, I think this was translucent orange and blue. And I thought it was going to come up with purple, but look at that pretty dark brown that it made. That was kind of a surprise. And this, I did this here and then I busted off to a new page to start playing because I thought that was fabulous. Um, and then I did this page of playing um some of these i put on instagram yesterday i think they tweeted too but a lot of this all right here is um mayan dark blue and daniel smith and amazonite and daniel smith they're both primatech colors where they're made from natural stone hey eileen so I just started playing with those. And this mine dark blue is really dark blue. It's kind of indigo, but it's got a little teeny tiny bit of green in there to make it like a, on the turquoise side. And that's the Amazonite down the bottom, and they blend into really cool colors. And then I started just adding in different amounts of each of the colors there playing. And down here, I started throwing in some primary elements just because I could. And that one right there is another of the lunar blue and Am amazonite 
together and that I think that's just beautiful how that breaks up like that this was lunar black and African jade primary elements right the dry pigment from color art but when you put it against black the green part of this shows up and you lose that turquoisey look but you can see on here that's lunar black that granulated and it, the black made that green pull out of there and then down here I started mixing uh, amethyst genuine and Mayan dark blue that's what that is and this is amazonite and and amethyst genuine that was really pretty of course to me Patty, you don't see names are you going to remember what you mixed um uh, i remember most of it but i can't be bothered to do all that stuff <laughs> and that's um this is am amazonite and the lunar blue again but i think i dropped a little bit of um lunar black in there too just for giggles and it just kind of pushed stuff and that's got this has primary elements dropped in it and that's amazonite and lunar blue and it pushed it the amazonite took over and pushed all the lunar blue these i did where i put one color on then i laid some water down and then i came up with the other color and let them blend this one i put on lunar blue and I didn't put water. I put on Amazonite. And when it connected, it just took over and pushed all that up into a puddle at the top. And then I think I dropped a little um, African jade in there. Yeah. And this was Lunar Blue and Opera over here. But I was just playing. Um, hey, Chessar. So I was just playing, mixing stuff because... Yeah, that's what I can do. But this pad of paper, I got this when we went shopping at our art weekend. I went down to Dick Flick, took some of the ladies down there. And this is a Fabriano a cold press, 140 pound, studio watercolor, made in Italy, whatever. But it's a honker. It's it's pretty it's pretty substantial. It's not a block, it's a pad. But there's 50 sheets in here, and it was pretty cheap. I can't remember how much it was, obviously, now. I could, couldn't remember that day, if you, to be honest. But um, that was a pretty good deal. I assume they would have them online as well. But, um, yeah, and it seems to be nice paper. So, um, I really don't know what I want to do. Um, I think I might just play with some more weird combinations. Let's see what happens. I was packing up a couple of Etsy orders and then my clock ran out of time. So I had to ditch those. I'll finish that up later. Um, but one thing I wanted to mention uh, that I said this before I started the recording. Um, if you guys watched last week when I did the little um, constellations on that galaxy and that Copic white ink, right? This stuff was dried and caked up in here and I stuck my um, uh, finger in water just to play and see if it would reconstitute and it does. That shocked me. I thought for sure this would have been dried and I'd have had to scrape it and scrub it out of there. Not so much. Oh, that was pretty cool. Um, so let's have a little play, shall we? Jean is going to have a fit that she missed this. It's recording. I know it's not the same when you can't be live, though. Another last minute. Um, last minute attempt was a golf widow and decided ah, I ran my errands this morning hey Janet I thought I'd get on and just throw some water and colors around and see what happens 
so um, let's, I don't know, let's see. I'm really into this lunar blue. I have it on my list to order a tube of this. I really, really like this color. Let me pull you guys in closer. Because some of the fun of this is when it just starts to... Um, <laughs> Thanks, Eileen. So this is the one that's got some black in it and a, I think it's fallow turquoise and it granulates and it breaks. It looks like black when it goes on there. See how dark that is? And you, almost immediately you can start to see the blue separate on the edges toward the bottom there. But when you go back in and it's almost right now, it's got like a dark blue tinge to the whole thing. But watch this pigment when it when you mess it around again, it, it pulls the black up. That's just wild to me. It's like a science experiment right here. Me and my lonesome. So let's do, let's put some green gold with that and see what happens. I don't know why. Might be interesting. And her babe snoring again. I actually think she's got something going on. We're going to take her to the vet on Monday. Ooh, look how that green took over that pigment and pushed it back up there. That kind of took it, shoved it all the way to the top again. But I think I did a little research with Babe's, uh, like, hear her snoring. And sometimes she breathes really hard, even when she's sleeping. So I started to do a little research and I found um, some in information that seems to fit as Cushing's disease. And interestingly enough, that's one of the things the doctors looked at a year ago when she had that big internal bleed and we couldn't figure out anything and she had other symptoms. So... Um, yeah, we need to get that looked at. I can tell you that snoring is not good for mother in the middle of the night. Um, let's see. So this was, um, this is the lunar blue again. Hello, lover. And then this time I'm going to do a little puddle of water. This is what I was doing last night. Not touching it yet. Putting a little extra water there. And then grabbing something. Let's see. Do the am am Amazonite. That's how I say it. I don't know if it's Amazonite. Amazonite. Looks like Amazon to me. So that's what I'm calling it. Can you hear her? I know you, I know you have to hear her. She's under my table. And see how that travels? But I can tell you, oh, and it's, look, it's making that black again where it disturbed that pigment. And let's let that sit there and see what happens. That's pretty, pretty. Um, oh, Lordy. I was going to stop and get some earplugs today, and I didn't, but I think I'll be running out to get some later. Oh, Lordy. Um, let's see, what do I have here? I didn't put the names on these, so I'm a little at a loss for what the heck I'm looking at. But I was trying to use the Primatex to mix stuff with, because that's not something that you normally see people mixing, um, that I've seen much of online. So I just thought I'd play with those and see, um, see what happens. I'm looking at here to see what else I might want to try. I wonder what happens if we do some of the Mayan dark blue and maybe some cobalt teal. Let's try that. This is Mayan dark blue and it's really 
dark. Dark, 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 pretty color. Almost kind of looks indigo, but it's got a little bit of turquoise on there. Hey, Lynn. She's not drinking an excessive amount, Virginia, but she's panting a lot. I was timing her. She was laying in the big recliner with me the other night, and she was sleeping, or faking sleep, one or the other, but she seemed to be sleeping. And I put the stopwatch on, and she was panting about once a second. I got up to about 30 seconds, and I was on 29 pants. And um, I know that's a little... Uh, I know that's fast. Um, I forgot what I said I was going to mix that with. Well, hell's bells. What was I going to mix that with? I guess it really doesn't matter. Let's do something crazy. Let's do this. Um, this is a cloves and honey called Dr. Girlfriend. It's a, a, a metallic one. Look at that hot pink. Yeah, very pretty. Let's see what happens here. Um, hey, Bliss, I'm just playing. Just mi mixing weird colors together. That made it pretty purple. You can't really see the shimmer in that pink until it dries. Uh, we don't know for sure yet, but she's been snoring and panting a lot. But she's happy. She runs and plays and eats and pees and poops and does everything she's supposed to. She just pants a lot of the time, almost all the time, and snores. Even sometimes when she's not sleeping, she is snoring, and I mean, she's burning it up. Yeah, so let's try... I think this one, what is this? Is this Serpentine Green? Yeah, this is Serpentine Genuine. Let's try that one. See, Jean's not here, and now I'm using greens. What's up with that? This one granulates a little bit, so that's why I'm trying to get the ones that granulate here to see what they'll do with mixing with other colors. That's kind of a moss green with a Kind of a yellowish undertone. What type of watercolor are you using? They're all mixed up, uh, Monique. Um, yeah, I know some of the, I was reading last night, they said some of the medications are fairly inexpensive and, but have a lot of side effects and some of them are very expensive with not as many side effects, so I don't know. We'll just have to take her Monday, see what they say. They can do a blood test to uh, rule it in or out. This is Lunar Blue into this Serpentine. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea, but I lost my train of thought there for a minute. Oh, Jean's got pain in her legs. That's terrible. Oh, I'm glad your pup's good, Lynn. Actually, that's settling down pretty pretty cool looking in the middle there. It's like a dark, foresty blue-green. Some of these surprise you with what you're left with. Um... You know, just for giggles, let's do this. Let's do, this is Lunar Black. This is the, the black that really um, uh, granulates. Um, and it usually breaks up pretty quickly. Let's try that. And then let's try, I think this one is Fallow Turquoise. Which I think is what makes Lunar Blue, these two. I think. I don't know. Let's see what happens.
maybe that's not when you're black. One, two, three, four, five. No, that should be lunar black. Maybe because it was a thick puddle of water, it didn't, it didn't break apart as quickly. I don't know. I do not know. Um, I'm just going to play with like a page of these and then maybe I'll try to do another, have another go at a, a sky, maybe with some clouds with this ink. Let's try. This one's Purple Rain. This is another one. Cloves and Honey are a artisan handmade watercolor company. They have a subscription that you can join, uh, which I did. And they send out four um, little half pans in this little tin and of special colors that they only make for a limited amount of time. And that's what this, that's what these colors are. Um, and this is Purple Rain. It's a dark eggplant. These all have sparkle in them. Dark eggplant. You know what? Let's put that with Lunar Blue just for shits and giggles, as we say. Let's see what happens to this. Kind of like mixing them on the paper. What is your palette above the paper? This is a, um, a porcelain footprint palette, it's called. It's heavy. Um, it comes from, is it SAS? S -A? It's a, an art group in England, but you can buy them on, uh, is Ange here? I hear somebody saying Ange. Hey Ange, if you're here, hope you're doing well. Um, I got it on Amazon for like 20 or $22, and I think it was Prime with no shipping from the UK, and this sucker's heavy. Um, but it's really, it's really nice to mix on. I really like it. Um, but it's called a footprint palette. Yeah, that didn't, there's not much going on there as far as change. It just looks a lot darker in the middle. Um, let's see. <laughs> this, I believe, is under sea green. And this one granulates a lot. I don't know where it got this color because I've scuba dived for years in a lot of different places. And I don't remember seeing this color just about anywhere. <laughs> Maybe seaweed. And let's put... Uh, Let's do it Amazonite with that. Teal it up a little bit. Oh, you had another surgery two days ago, and good lord, girl. Let's do Amethyst Genuine. It's a really pretty purple. And this dries with some shimmer in it from the natural stones. Yeah, Lynn, I saw that. And those darn liquid watercolors, you can only get them in, uh, in the UK. And I actually found the site where I could order them from the UK. And the, the inks themselves, the watercolors themselves, are cheap. And then the shipping, they wanted 100 pounds, 100 GB, uh, Great Britain pounds. 
on top of the cost of that. So it was like four times the cost of the product to ship it. I decided not to do that. But we have um, a work event coming up. Um, stop talking. More mixing. Um, that's amethyst, genuine. What does that have to do with that? Let's put lunar blue with it. Um, we have a lot of people from our London office and all over Europe from for work coming over uh, for our the meeting in November. Eileen, the one that where I met you in person last year. This year we're in Orlando though. So unless you want to buzz up to Orlando, look at this one, the undersea green and the um, Amazonite. Look at a pretty green that made and how it granulated. And then here is the amethyst and the lunar blue breaking apart. Hey, bunny. Let's see. You know, I got a couple violet colors. Blue, violet, and I forget what else. I have to pop them out of here and look at the names. But they're not real bright colors. Like like here this one here how it comes out it's kind of light and this one is another blue violet i think and this one's i think a core violet and some of them are called like bright violet that's not so bright to me not so much wonder, oh that's shadow violet moon glow let's try moon glow moon glow where are you this one's moon glow and this one has three pigments in it, and I forget what they are. I think a maroon, an ultramarine, and a gray, I believe. It kind of looks grayish purple, and then they kind of break break apart. Let's do, um, let's put some of that Dr. Girlfriend in with that and see what happens. This is so bright. I don't know if you guys can really appreciate how bright that is, but it's... Get your sunglasses out. Dr. Girlfriend's in the house. Let's see what happens to that. Hi, Sophia. All right, let's... This is... Is this sugar light? Sugilite? I don't know how to say that. S-U-G-I-L-I-T-E. Genuine. That's another one that dries with some a little bit of shimmer in there, but it's a pretty light color. See how much lighter that is than the other pigments? And let's Let's put something in there. What are we gonna do? Let's do lunar blue again. When all else fails, use lunar blue. That might just overtake it. I don't know that that's gonna influence that color at all. It grayed down that lunar blue a little bit. We'll come back to it after it dries. All right, I'm going to do one more little play of these. And we'll see where we end up. You know what is another color that I'm starting to like? I'm gravitating towards like indigos and that ad... What is that called? Androthrone? Androthene? Blue? I don't know how the hell I say it. And it's weird because different brands, they spell that just a little bit different. Each one to try to hose me up. But it's a really dark blue with the tiniest purple hue to it. See how dark that is? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put Amazonite in there, but I'm putting a little water down first. I'm gonna grab some Amazonite. That might be pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, 
That's pretty. Oh, let's see. What else can we do here? You know what I was disappointed in? The Kidman's green turquoise, I think. It's, it's this greenish color right here. It's kind of flat looking to me. I'm not that huge of a fan of that. Let's try... This is a core fallow turquoise. This is dark, too. I didn't pick up near as much as I did on the other ones. Because I, I remember how dark this one was. And let's throw... Give me some Dr. Girlfriend on that. Let's see what happens. Should get a pretty decent purple in the middle there. That, see how bright that pink is down the tip of that on the far right? That is some... Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. <sighs> yes, it is. What is that one? That's green gold, but it looks like it granulated here. What's the one above that? That's whatever that is. I think that's imp imperial purple, maybe? That granulated and like a pink broke out of that. Let's try that. Yeah, I think that's imperial purple. I think. Let's put a little water down there. And let's let's put some Amazonite in that bad boy. That might be pretty interesting if it's got that pink under it and I don't know, we'll see. Coming down to the wire here with this I brilliant idea of mine. <laughs> uh, uh, I say that kind of jokingly. Let's do let's do that purple with lunar blue. Let's see what happens with that. That's looking pretty 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 pretty. Looking pretty pretty. Let's try that. Put a little water. And then, what did I say? The purple. This one here. This one. It's funny that um, a lot of these colors chase that blue pigment in the lunar blue right away from where the water is. You can see this one. There's still a putter. A puddle. A putter. There's a putter of water. Putter of water. And here, look at this, how all that blue is kind of pulled up down there from the lunar blue that's blue and black. Let me, let me encourage that to come back down. Oh, look, it turns black again. How cool are you? This one's really pretty. Let's do something else with that. Let's do lunar blue again. I'm telling you, this is becoming one of my favorites. Put some water. And I'm going to go back and grab. What am I going to grab? That's some of that androthrone blue, whatever it is. Look at that, how juicy that is. And that's pushing that blue up. Look at that, how that just puddled that, all that, I don't know if you can tell. There's a big puddle at the top of that bottom one there. I'm going to make it go down here, mix. I'm going to have my way with it. These are pretty cool, though. Really like this. And this one here, I don't know if you can see the sheen in that purple. 
There you go. Where that's that Dr. Girlfriend and the Amazonite. Is that Amazonite? Yeah, I think so. Dr. Girlfriend is metallic, and then the Amazonite has its own little shimmer in it. But there you go. That purple looks really cool in there. Very interesting. All right, I'm going to set these off to the side and let them simmer down. Um, try using that blue second. It could simply be the fact that you're laying it down first. Which blue? Which blue do you mean? The lunar blue? I'm guessing you meant the lunar blue, Safia? All right, let's do this down here. I'll take this dark blue again, this Andrus, whatever that is. It sounds like Neanderthal without the knee. <laughs> That's not it either. Okay, so the blue they're chasing is this lunar blue. Eh, it's probably not the right one to mix with that anyway. happens with that. I don't know if you can see it, but the pigment is creeping from the left to the right. And that kind of lighter spot there. And it pushed a puddle down this end a little bit. Anyway, we'll have to, I don't think I'd mix those two together um, anyway, because um, I don't know. That's looking kind of cool. <laughs> this one I mixed too much. That just made like a new third different color. All right, let's see. What are we going to do here? I saw Anne Marie do that with salt water. Wasn't that cool? You know what? Maybe we'll do something like that. I have salt. I have water. Yeah, it's definitely the pigment. Going a little cray cray. All right. Oops, I shouldn't have had that up there. <sighs> um, I'm kind of off the page here, aren't I? Here we go. Um, 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 last time we did this. Galaxy. Um, and I kind of did, I took a, all of, uh, Anna Victoria Calderon's classes on Skillshare. And there's a bunch of other ones on Skillshare that do galaxies too. And on YouTube, you can find a bunch of them. And everybody seems to do it a little bit differently. So I kind of combined stuff that I saw from different ones. But I basically, instead of wetting the whole paper, I did it like in batches, kind of like Anna Victoria does, to let it dry and let this dry and let this dry and then come back with another wet and then finally join them at the end. Um, maybe I'll do one now with just... Um, wetting the paper and see what happens. What do you think? Let me get a... Will that fit in here? Yes. Now I probably should, I should probably tape this down, but as you can see, I'm not going to. <laughs> and I'm just going to get this wet, whatever soaks in and doesn't stay on the surface wet until I start. That's just going to be how it goes. And we'll try a different way and just play because basically that's what I'm capable of. <laughs> 
This is a nice feeling brush, and this is a Cheap Joe's brush, I think. So I got a nice sheen of water. Yeah, Cheap Joe's art stuff. A pseudo squirrel synthetic bold wash made in Germany from Cheap Joe's. Um, all right, so let's try. Bye, Sophia. Oh, Mama got to turn on her hot flash fan. Um, have a little drink. Of course, that's going to dry out my paper. Yes, Lynn, I actually have done that. Um, and I may have to do it now because it is starting to curl up. I should just do, you know what I'm going to do? I'll let this bad boy curl and dry on its own. And instead of worrying about that, I have a block right here. I'll just use a block. This is um, fluid. Watercolor paper, cold press 140, block 9 by 12. I got this dead dick flick too. I was finally unpacking the bag of stuff that I got when we were there at the end of July. That tells you something. Let's try this again, shall we? I wanted to start trying different kind of watercolor papers because... So many people say, and I've read, and I understand that, you know, a better quality paper is going to act differently. And I've you know, used enough of the cheap stuff to want to start trying something that's a little bit better. Doesn't have to be the highest quality just yet. But I think I, for the ladies that were here this summer that came to the house for the cookout, um, I think I decided on the color that we're going to paint upstairs. And I actually went shopping today and picked out some curtains. Um, of course, I don't have it painted yet, but they were on a. I couldn't. I couldn't pass them up. There was on such a good sale today that I got them and if I don't do that or pick a different color I'll um I'll take them back if I have to but okay so here's this wetted down and um I want to use a bigger brush but I don't know about this in the half pans we'll try it and see what happens so now I'm just going to let this kind of run. Oh, you're going to Greece. Cool. I just had some friends that just got back not long ago from Greece. Um, all right, let's just start slapping some stuff down here. Oh, that's a traveler. That's that one of my favorite turquoises. I think that's Fallow Turquoise by Daniel Smith. Let's get some lunar blue in there. This is going to give it a whole different look for sure. Get some lunar black in there. This is looking completely different than what was in my little pea brain. I can tell you that much right now. Um, I need something dark. Let's do this. That blue I can't pronounce. a little bit. All 
right, let's do some of the Mayan dark. I'm going to try to get some darker pigments in here because this is, well, I can always go back with some black ink, which is what I'm probably going to end up doing anyway. That's the Mayan dark blue. Let's try a little bit of this. I think this is the core. Uh, ooh, look at that travel through there. <laughs> look at that feathering, how that purple's feathering through there. can't hate it, people. Mojo came back. Come here, Mo. Come over here in your bed, honey. Let's get a little amazonite in here. See, that's kind of light when you... Lay down Mojo's bed. You want to lay down here with Mommy and Sissy? Lay down, baby. This is indigo, I believe. That's a good boy. Do you hear him grunt when he lay down? No. <laughs> that purple's going crazy through there. Look at that. Mama like. What's this one here? This is actually buckling on the, and actually pulled up on the sides of the block. Is it supposed to do that? How rude. Let's get some more lunar black in here. I, I do too, Eileen. I like to watch it just move. Now, this is pretty dry down here now again. I'm going to wet it a little bit more, which I said I wasn't going to do, but we know how I lie. So, you know, what are you going to do? All right, let's do, oh, you know what? Let's do some of the um, the Kramer black, because that's really black. Look at that. Oh, you know what? Let's do, let's do some of the Kramer. Um, it's one of the silvery looking ones, but it's called... What's it called? Polar silver. Maybe I get a little Milky Way action in here. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. See how that dries. Let's get back down here in this corner. Ooh, look at that one run. Oh, I love that. This is why, even if I could draw, I don't know if I would do still life or landscapes. This is much more fun and exciting to my little pea brain. Look at that, how that ran through that water. Kind of looks like, um, that looks like undersea coral. Some fan coral. Let's do, let's drop some of that in here and let something happen crazy there. Let's pull 
pull some more of this silver in over here, maybe. Well, that's still wet. We can throw some up there. Well, that's still wet. Maybe I should put some salt down. Bang! Where the hell is my salt? Salt! 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 This is too dry over here now to bother with the salt. You know, I can't find those darn, um, uh, yeah, I know, Virginia. I don't know if she does or not, but she's certainly snoring it up. That's for sure. Um, I think this was my black ink that I put here last time. You remember it was about last year this time when babe had that internal bleed and uh that was pretty serious we didn't think she was going to see halloween when that happened she was flat down and out and uh she um they didn't know if she had cancer or what was wrong and we couldn't prove cancer anywhere so we they're going with an autoimmune condition, but they can't prove it or know what to call it. Oh, that was a mistake. That's kind of too, that's too, uh, that's not good. I got to break that up a little bit somehow and make that more random. Um, they couldn't prove anything, but the steroids helped her. Oh, you know what? Virginia, mine has been doing that too lately. My chats have been like 20 minutes after I say something, it pops up on there. I don't know what the hell's up with that. Um, let's get some of this dark blue up and through here too. Maybe take away from that hard black edge a little teeny tiny bit. This is kind of, this, I'm surprised this block buckled up like that. I didn't think it was supposed to do that. But it's completely, it's pulled off. See where my fingers are underneath of it? Now, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to try to glaze on top of this so it's darker. I'm not sure. Huh. I don't know. It's kind of cool. But, uh, not what I had in my little pea brain. Definitely a lot faster than the other method. Huh, I don't know. Well, let me set this on the side for a while and see what happens with that as that dries up. And then maybe I'll go back and try to get another layer on top of that. But um, maybe I wonder how it would work on UFO. UFO, UFO. That one's kind of big. Let me get one of my new pads of UFO over here. Babe, I'm not going anywhere, honey. You can be going crazy for nothing. I'm coming. 
I'm right back here. But you know, Virginia, another thing that it said for symptoms uh, of Cushing is skin discolored. And where she had that uh, cancer surgery on her leg um, a couple years ago, that patch, what used to be real white skin around her back of her thigh and hip, where they did the skin graft, um, it's the skin is darker. And there's very little hair there because that's her belly skin that they grafted. Remember, they cut it off her belly and... Um, Yeah, so that was another thing that lined up with their, their um, symptoms. So let's see. I don't remember what the heck colors I had in here. I don't remember what was what. I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Let's put some more. Let's put some of this. I'll make some more puddles in here. I'm going to try to do this the other way where we just kind of let it do it in little batches. Get some paint ready there. And this looks like it could have been this turquoise. Yeah, Babe's fur on her belly from a year ago when they did the ultrasound, they said because of the steroids that she's on, it may never grow back right, and it hasn't. Uh, let's see. I think I had some moon glow in there. I think that's what that was. Might have been indigo. That's what we're going to call it. <laughs> Again, I know enough to be dangerous. And I don't really care. If I'm not having fun doing it, I'm not going to do it. That's lunar blue. I try to squeeze as much out of the brush as I can. I hate to waste any of that pigment. <laughs> um, and let's see. This one here. Is a dark. This is the core fallow turquoise, and this is, seems darker than the um, uh, Daniel Smith one to me. And this well right here, it had I don't know what it had in there. It had some kind of turquoise. I was playing the other night, and I put um, uh, some primary elements in there with some of the paint. I don't know what the hell I was doing. And let's put some lunar black in one of these and then we'll go with that. And then anything else I can just add in. Put that down here. Yeah, that, I was watching the weather, and they were talking about Victoria, Texas. Just last night, they got over 16 inches of rain, and they're expected to get close to 40 inches of rain 
by the time this gets out of there, which is like next Thursday. Like that's crazy. All right, here we go. Let's do something. So I'm just going to try doing this in little blotches. And this is going to act completely different on this watercolor paper than it did um, then it, the UPO is going to act different than the watercolor paper for sure. And you can see those brush strokes, but they'll they'll worm their way out of there. Yeah, it stalled when it got there. That's the that's the bad part. It's just going to sit there and grind. I'm going to take a little amazonite, throw that in there, see what happens. And you know what? This might, I don't know if this is going to work or not, because it takes so long to dry on Yupo. Um, we could be here all flipping day. This is Moon Glow. You guys ever watch Will and Grace? You know, it's coming back on this fall. I have repeats on upstairs on the TV up there. I've forgotten, left it on. And I can hear Karen's voice, and she just kills me. I think she's hilarious. Where is my... Did I do that purple? I don't think I did. I wonder if this will granulate the same on Yupo. Yep, it's the exact same cast for the new Will and Grace coming on this fall, which should just be hilarious. It's lunar blue. This is this dioxazine purple by Core. It just takes over. Look how it pushed all that pigment into one little pocket there. Let's see, let's see. Let's take some lunar black. Let's go in here with some lunar black. Maybe get some of that black ink in there too. See what happens there. About, let's see, I don't know, 12 years ago or so, I forget what year, that Isabel hit uh, and came up the bay. And that's when it flooded my mom and dad's place. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Um... Look how this is all pushed out here, kind of solid. I think I'm going to drop something in there. Maybe some of this dark blue. Let's just plop some of that in there to try to break that up a little bit and see what it does. If it plays nice or it just gives me the watercolor finger, if you will.
All right, let's. I forget what this is. Oh, that's Mayan Blue Dark. Oops, touching my palette. Um, what do I want to put in here? That was lunar black and some of the black ink. Let's drop some of this in there a little bit. this over here by its lonesome that's so sad let's throw some of this crazy purple in here and make it go a little crazy on me aren't you pretty Hey, let's drop a little bit of metallics in here, shall we? That seems to always be a good idea. Silver, gold, bronze. What do we want to do? I feel like I want to do silver, but I don't know that that's going to show up that good. Let me look at this. That's actually showing up some. Well, if I don't like it, I'll go back and I'll grab some gold. How about that? This is, I'm dipping into, you can't see it, my Krimmer palette. Well, you still can't see it. You're just going to have to trust me. I'm taking some of the silver. Trying to drop it in where I see puddles. Add some gold. I knew there was going to be one of you. I was actually wanting to do it myself. I think I will. What a stellar idea, Eileen. Which gold? This light. Let's try this light one. Kale gold, I think this one's called. Can't believe next week is September. Like, what the hell happened there? These might be uh, better off being splattered. Let me get a brighter gold. I know, Joan. I it's a little excessive, but what the hell? Keeps me off the street. That's what I tell Dave. 
This is just the black liquid watercolor. Get some more black in through here. See what happens there with that touching that to bleed a little bit. And there, we'll let that one bleed. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that looks really pretty because it's got some of those metallics in it and it's just eating up that black watercolor. Keep. Damn it. See, I'm, bu I'm, I'm in. Wait a minute, I got room now. What am I doing? <laughs> Trying to keep it in frame. Uh, let's get some more of this black watercolor. Let it go in here and pull some of that out. Get this puddle going over here. All right, let's see. Um, that's this little baby right there. It's funny how all these brush strokes come up on this Yupo and then they just kind of go away. Wow, look how this streak of black, look how the colors mingled into that from up there in that puddle and down here in that puddle. At one time, this was that whole streak was black. A long time ago. Let me get some of this silver in here. That seems like a good place for some silver. Oh, you know what? Let's get some, uh, let's get some Blue Lagoon in there. Yeah. Magic Lagoon. What the hell is it? Magic Pacific Lagoon. I'll get it. I'll get it eventually. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hello, lover. Hello, little lover. Maybe that's the Milky Way streaking through there. Patty, did you sew the teeth? Oh, no, you know what? I didn't. I didn't even have them with me, which is uh, very unusual <laughs> for me that I didn't travel with my Billy Bob teeth. But I had... Uh, I had some serious family health stuff going on at the time, and my brain wasn't functioning as it, well, if it ever functions right. It wasn't functioning functioning at a high level for this art weekend, unfortunately. Oh, let's do some of the... Um, I have some of this peerless liquid amethyst. You know the peerlid that's on the um, peerless that's on the the dry little. This is looking really weird. This is no longer a galaxy. I don't know what's happened here. <laughs> um, that's probably enough for a year right there. And clean out my dropper. All right, let's get some of this purple in here. Look at you. Mm. 
that's a nice dark purple. I might get this to look like a some kind of a galaxy yet. It's too light. It's got to I got to get it darkened up. Man, that's really bold pigment coming out of there. You know, the peerless that does the little paper watercolors. I sure did, Joan. Thankfully, we're a little better off now, a lot better off right now than we were then. And uh, with a good outlook, just a long journey, but uh, you can do that. Look at you! Well, it just so happens that that's not the only one of those peerless liquids I have. Hang on. Hold that thought. I have magenta, deep yellow, I have turquoise blue. Shocker. Let's try some of that. Now I want to slice the cake. Thank you very much, Rihanna. <laughs> Oops. All right. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's bright. Making everything move, though. That's what's cool about the Shupo paper. It may not be galaxy worthy. I'm not sure yet. But it sure does cool stuff with watercolors. Here we go with the snoring. Here we go. some of this to move down here a little bit. Spread some of these puddles. I really think I should have stopped and got those earplugs for tonight. I can always run back up. What do I need in here? Mm. It looks pretty cool though, doesn't it? Mm. What do I want to put in this little spot right mm. here? Let's get some more of my mm. turquoise. This one maybe? Mm. Mm. This is going to take a while to dry. Mm. Maybe I'll splat some silver in there and see what happens. Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. Kind of Milky Way-ish. Of course, that's going to move. I know it's not going to stay like that. I'm just throwing crap at it now. Maybe I'll add a little bit more black while it's still wet and can mingle. That's what I'm thinking. Although I like the way this is kind of veiny through there. Eh, yeah, well.
I can see that kicking up a lot of that metallic pigment there. This is a little too sharp a line here. I don't like that line. Let's see. What can I... So a lot of metallics going on in here, but... I don't know. I might just let that go. Thanks, Eileen. And Joan. Now to move it without really screwing up the works. Um, let me try to put it on the back of this piece I was playing with the other day. I'll try to lift it up a little bit, but I don't want to tilt it and have it run more than it is. Oop, stop. Don't buckle up on me now. The light's catching it funny, of course, but I can't tilt it too much and not pose up the work. But look at that up there in that upper right. That looks pretty cool. And I like how this, the veining's kind of breaking it up. That might be really cool, actually. I'm going to sit this one off to the side to dry. Somewhere safe, hopefully, if there is such a place in my basement. All right, we'll see what that does, but I'm going to go clean out my water real quick because look how dirty they got. <laughs> I don't like dirty water. Talk amongst yourself. pretty cool actually. Clean water. Okay, what do I want to do? Oops. Um that one's still cut kind off. Of curly cute on me. <laughs> Get rid of that. Oh, you know what? I pulled down this. I, I, forget, I buy this stuff and I forget I have it. This, for some reason, seemed like something I needed to have at one time. And it's a hardcover Strathmore watercolor. Jeez, this is going to take up a whole flipping desk. Do I dare use this? That's too damn big. <laughs> Not today. I'm so sorry. Too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Maybe I'll just use this little spiral notebook watercolor paper and 
Maybe. What I'll do. Let's see where this one is. Here's this one that's on the block. That actually, you know what? Look at this. The whole that block's not glued down on all four sides. It's oh, it's it's open on these two sides, but the top and bottom is glued. Well, that's a crappy thing to know. But you can see some of the silver in there. And see what the salt's doing, right? We'll let that one go a little bit longer. There's still some wet marks in there. And this time, let's do kind of the same thing on watercolor paper. And... I'm going to do. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to do a galaxy thing. I really like that Yupo. I got to tell you. I think I'm going to do another one on Yupo and just do those weird blends of colors all over it and see what happens. You know, and it might end up into something I just cut up into ATCs with the other stuff that I did like that. And that's fine too. So, but I am going to incorporate some of these metallics into this little adventure. So, where do we want to start? Um, I want to use some of the um, granulating stuff. And this is the lunar blue. It looks black when you put it down and it almost immediately starts to pull apart. Now let's get some of this amosonite, amosonite. And watch how that takes that over. Look at that breaking apart in that blue, the blue black. Focus. Give me a little focus, please. Maybe not. All right. Let's do some Mayan dark. That looked cool going into the Amazonite. I oh, know this is coming down through here now. It's traveling a different way. See that? All right. Let's get a little bit of this rose gold that I made up. So this was a combination of pigments that I got from Kramer that were the bronze. Can you see that? No. The bronze and the silver. And uh, I kind of made a rose gold. And that's going to blend with those colors and make some kind of a, I don't know, baby poop metallic ish kind of thing. That's doing some cool stuff. I'm going to put more of that. Where's my lunar blue? Down here. I'm going to catch more of that down here. That's pretty cool stuff. And then let's get some. This has um, some primary elements in it. Let's get some of that on there. Look at that travel. That's pushing all that back now the other way. 
Make up your mind, people. Which way are you going? I like that random blending, though. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And let's just put more of this all the way down a streak through here. Wow, look at that, how that's pushing this back. That's that, that lunar blue. All these brush marks will come out of there. That's looking really interesting up there. What did I have up there? Mosinite. That was that with the primary elements. Let's put a little bit of this crazy purple in here and see what happens. Maybe some of this other crazy purple with that up into there. Ooh, look at you! Mover and a shaker. I love that. Can you guys see that? What's going on there? That's that core dioxazine purple. Look what it's doing! See, Eileen, I'm going to bring you over to my colors. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I had some Mayan dark. Let's put some more of that in there. See what happens with these purples with this. Oh, the purple's going that way. See that? You never know who's the boss. But I'm thinking a lot of times it's the purple. Is just taken over in there. Wow, look at that. Ah. That's pretty scrumptious. Let's get some lunar black. Um, out here in this lighter section and then I'm going to add I'm going to add some of this turquoise because I think this is what makes the lunar blue uh, mind blown Look at you, you little lovelies. I think it is, Jane. It really has its way with the other colors. There's some pretty cool stuff going on. Let's get some more rose gold in there. See what happens with this. I'm telling you, metallic baby poop is not bad. Look at all these different colors of the metallics where that rose gold is blending down through that streak. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see all the shades of that. I can't tilt it so you can see the metallic just yet. But look how that's running there. Oh, and look at this swirly. It looks like a little, an honor of Harvey. Looks like I've got an eye of the tornado starting over there. Um, I wonder what I did in there. Let's see. Let's get some of this Pacific Lagoon in these wet or dark areas. And let's see what happens over here. The 
this looks really cool when I drop it in that way. It looks like it makes a little line of teardrops that kind of stay there. They will fade out and change, but it looks kind of cool while it's happening. Look at that. <laughs> I tell you, I could just sit here all night and do this. I'm getting better. I'm not sure this is a skill. This is just kind of throwing stuff down. But I like it. And I don't care who don't like it. I like it. Um, i got to get more of this lunar blue in here. I'm going to have to order a tube of that as soon as I get done the stream. <laughs> I did order some more watercolors um, to try different brands. I ordered a few Holbein and a few um, Mission Gold. Um, of my favorite colors, of course, to try the different ones and see what happens. a little more of this specific lagoon. I tell you what, this has been my most successful uh, attempt at making my own watercolors out of dry pigment is using the Kramer pigments and the Kramer watercolor medium. And this is not just gum arabic, it's got honey and glycerin, all three of them in this. And it comes out, the cakes come out really nice. Um, Like I, I can't even screw those up. <laughs> Let's see. I don't want to backtrack too much. Can maybe get a little bit in there. That's still wet. I like that little edge that's forming there. You can see it looks like pepper's been dropped in there where that lunar blue has um, It is me too, Eileen. I, I I just can't. And I don't know if it's because I can't draw that I don't like to do it. Or if it's just that I'm not that interested in seeing another mountain with pine trees on it. And not to put anybody down that does it. Because I think they're beautiful and I wish I could do that. But since I can't. <laughs> Mama like this. This is Lunar Blue again. Get some more of this in here to get that going. Ooh, look at that traveling. But that's why, you know, art is so cool. Because you can do what you like and different people like different stuff. And I'm sure some people hate what I'm doing. Think I'm wasting paint, but poo-poo on them. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't say that. Don't email me. <laughs> oh, look at this pushing back. See all those marks in there? They'll just, eventually, they'll smooth out. So, let's see. Huh. What do I want to do there? This, if you could see what's going on there, can I get you that close? this blue area right here. Let's see if I can get that up there to show you the different things that are happening in that. You can't see all the shades of color, but you can see that peppery looking deal going on there. It's still wet, so the glare's in there. Let's put something else up here with this. 
um, this needs to be, something needs to happen here. What are we going to do? Put a little purple in there, maybe? That's the only place I don't, I'm not wild about. Maybe some of this dark blue to break that up. big of an area of just that one color maybe. Maybe that's what my eye doesn't like. Let's get some... I'm going to take a picture of that. If that'll come up on a photograph, that um, I don't know if all those colors will come up. How is that possible that my eye sees it, and yet such a sophisticated piece of equipment as this camera doesn't really... Oh, we'll see. Still not liking this. What can we do about that? Um, oh, I know. Juniper green, one of my favorite radiant rains. Let's get some of you in there. That's a gorgeous color, i got to tell you. a little bit to make that blend. Let me get a little bit more black. Lunar black in there, maybe, to help out. Will that help or hurt me? What's it going to do? Maybe a little more rose gold up in here. Somewhere. Some of this got real washed out. I don't know if I want this. I love these swirls in here. What happened here? This is really cool close up. I'm not going to mess with that. Do I want to mess with you? I think I'm just going to let it dry. I got to go get my big piece of paper to move this one. Oh, Lord. Oh, you know what I might do? I did a, um, I don't know if you guys remember, hang on, let me move this, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Some crazy, so there's a good shot of that lunar blue breaking up into that turquoise and black. You can see that, what looks like an aura there, that's that lagoon and then here's this where is it kind of the eye of the storm there see that swirl that's kind of crazy oh and here's the lunar blue up in this corner too kind of an example of what that does yes mama will be having more of that 
So I did this, um, it wasn't, it wasn't a gesso board, it was a, um, what the hell was this? One, gesso board, not gesso, what's another one? Remember this that I did? Oh, it is gesso board. Ah, looky there. That's what it is. Um, thanks, Christy. So, um, see how this kind of really sucked in and it came kind of bland and see how it granulated? The primary elements granulated there. And these are the Schmincke Shine stuff. If I touch that, it feels like sandpaper where that stuff is. There's some primary elements streak through here and see that flash and up through here but it's I would never any never do anything with it like that but I was thinking maybe I'll layer up on it you know what I mean Vern that's kind of cool I like this pigment showing here see that flash mama like that um but I don't, uh, I mean, I would never just hang this on the wall like that. I thought I'd use it as a background and do something over it, but that's not grabbing me. That's probably never going to happen. So then I was thinking, maybe I'll just kind of glaze over it and see what happens. So, I don't have the swatch down here, um, but the color that I'm thinking about painting upstairs is called Rain. And actually, for the Maryland Weekenders, if you guys remember on our Facebook page, when Linda Freyer put the picture of the art that Gayla and Kathy gave us as part of their class, she had that framed and she had it up in her living room, and like all the, the chairs and the shelves and tables and stuff were all just barely an off-white color, and the walls were a gorgeous muted turquoise color, very much like the raindrop paint that we used. Remember that? Hey, Colleen. And, um, or is that Sandy? I had a little brain fart there. Um, and that, the color she had on her wall I actually asked in that thread what's that color because I was looking at a really pale 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 turquoisey color for upstairs right now it's a color called bagel that's kind of like a golden pale yellow ochre kind of a color earth tone um, and I just wanted to change it up and it really needs to be painted so I thought I would go to turquoise I know that's a shocker to most people um, but uh, Um, I'm looking at some other stuff I have sitting over here I might use. Uh, so I was thinking about doing some things that have, that will work on the wall upstairs. Because a lot of my stuff is like pops of red that I have up there now. And that's going to be going bye byes Um... This is showing up bluer here than it is here. A lot of this is like that turquoisey green kind of color and up through here and around here. And even over here, that looks kind of more blue. That's more green. And poison. Let me move some of this stuff. Need a couple more inches. Come on, work with me. Lordy. Uh, but I'm trying to decide in my little pea brain how I want to do this. Just go for it and start slinging crap and see what happens. I don't know if it, it's going to reconstitute this, which would be kind of cool. But it's too it's too drab and pale like this for me. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but, you know, what is it? It's just kind of there. So let's, what the hell? Let's just dive in, shall we? <laughs> Let me get some more paints made up here. Oh, picked up the whole pan with my brush. Maybe it's 
some water to get some of that out of my brush there. That's my Daniel Smith Fowler Turquoise. Yummy, luscious lover that you are. And this one, I'm not going to do so much of the granulating ones, but I have some purple, I have some blue, I have some juniper out there. Um, let's get some of this. I know I'm sure I had this core purple in there. It's a dioxazine core. All right, well, enough dilly-dallying. Let's just jump in, shall we? I wonder what happens if I wet it a little bit. Oh, look at that. That's instantly re-wetting, which I figured it would do. Um, and let me get this window on top so I can see myself again. All right, now I can see the chat and me. Uh, well... I don't know what's going to happen, but let's just dive in, shall we? Let's go with some of this dark purple over here. This is the core purple. I don't know if the primary elements are going to come back up to and mix. I do not know. Give me some of this. I don't know what's going to happen to that shine medium. But uh, the gesso kind of absorbs it pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to put some, uh, let me get some of this rose gold in here too. Let's see what happens with that. Another baby poop metallic color. Um, hmm. Let's put some of this in here. See what happens. This is some of the peerless. Um. That's dioxazine, isn't it? Let me go in here and grab some darker pigment of that. Let's see what happens there. This may be a total disaster, which I am prepared to take. <laughs> Let's get some of this dark blue in here, too. Let's see what happens there. This is a weird surface for watercolor paints in the first place. That's why um, it kind of got so bland in the first place. But let's, I don't know. What's this? This is Core Fallow Turquoise. You see where I say that's dark? I'm not just whistling Dixie people. Deep dark. I wonder what would happen. Hang on, an idea just hit me. Let me get some metallic in there. And then, let me spray it and see what happens. I'm going to spray the whole flipping thing. Oh, there you go. How's that for an idea? Ooh, it's kind of cool stuff happening now. What do you know? Let me get some black through here. 
Maybe this will be a galaxy. <laughs> oh, I just saw the fixative spray note. Too late. I unfixed it. This really didn't get wet here or here. Let's get that. Let's get it all mashed up here. What the hell? Go big or go home. That's what I say, people. Hey, I'm already home, so. Get some black through there. This may come out the coolest thing yet. Who knows? Now you can't, this isn't showing up at all the right color. I wonder if I can adjust it. This is green, bright green turquoise. And how the hell do I do that again? Hang on, advanced settings. White balance auto. Let's see what happens. That's a little closer to what it is. Let me see if that changes on what you guys are seeing. Let's see if that comes up right. I think that's a little more realistic now. Oh, look how yellow my paper looks. And that really didn't do a whole lot to the color of the paint. Crap, I'll put that back. Yeah, but you know what? It was a big difference in the color, but the, it made the paper and all this look yellow. So you, you saw how it yellowed it up. It made this look a little bit closer, but that's still not even close to what that looks like. traveling in here. Actually, these look like little ghosted moons in here. Give me some more black. Where do I want to go with that? That's not good. That's drying on me. Make that there and get me a little bit more of this. Where was I going to go? <laughs> Up in this corner, maybe. This is the creamer black water color. Get some of that in there. And I want to get some more black. I kind of lost this little streak of black through here. I didn't really lose it. It kind of granulated on me and the metallics kind of lightened it up a little bit. down here so 
somewhere. Oops, that's kind of dried up. What, am, what the hell am I doing here? That's this turquoise blue. That's the peerless. Now I'm sure this is going to dry lighter again. I don't really think that I care that much if it does because it's still going to be darker than it was. I don't know. This might <laughs> this might end up being the coolest one yet for our galaxy. Huh. Wise guy. I want to get some more dark in there. What is that? Is this violet? This is a different violet. Oh yeah, that's nice and dark. Put a little something in there. Let's put silver in there. So I've still got purple in my brush. Let's put a little. And I'm going to come back with some juniper in there. Brighten that up again. to bring some of that. Uh oh, did my chat freeze? Oh no, there we go. I see Rihanna. Okay, it was just a five minute lag there with no no comments. Um Junior Bird were here. running down here. Got some big puddles. All right. Now really pretty. I wish you guys could see that real color. I'm half tempted to go back and like wipe some of these spots off of that shine medium. That's it. Let's go with that trance comment. <laughs> I'm going to get some more of this Pacific Lagoon. But see how creamy that is and how that just lifts off of there so nice. Look at that. Just look at it. Now that might have been a mistake to break up that black. Uh, I'm going to go do something to that now. Let me get some more. Let's add some more black. That's just going to make that pigment stand out more if I can get it in there. Uh, 
I think I need some black over here. But that does need to be black. I like this black. This looks really cool right in through here when you can see it up close. Which you can't. But they say you use just a couple drops of this stuff, but I'm I'm blowing through this pretty good. But that's okay. It's okay. I want this really black through here. I think there's too much stuff. Maybe it's just going to have to puddle and go where it, it's going to be the thought of black will go through there. How about that? And let's, where am I going to put some black over here without screwing it up? Through here. I like that bright blue sticking out there. That's pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. It would be even more mesmerizing if you saw the true colors. <laughs> I need to get more. Um, more juniper in here, I think. Oh, ballsy move. All right, what else do I need? Let me get some of this deeper purple over in here. Just a little bit through here, maybe. Like that. Perhaps. Now, do I splatter anything at this point or I probably should wait till it dries because there's a lot of big puddles on here lots of puddles um, I don't know if you guys can tell how wet that is it is it is very wet um, but you know I don't know I'm going to set it on the side and let's see what happens to this one Babe, why do you have to get up? Why do you have to get up every time I get up there, little girl? Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Thank you. Well, I like it better than it was. If that means anything. Oh wow, this really that first one with all those big bold black streaks, puddles in it. As that dries, it's it's really lightening up. Interesting. here what do I want to do um, what time is it 512 hang on let me text Dave real quick and see how see where my husband is on a timeline All right, we'll see if he answers me anytime soon. 
Um, this is the piece I wet earlier. Um, go ahead, babe. Lay down, honey. That's a nice girl. So you know that canvas that I painted that I covered my moleskin journal with? Well, I saw they had a black canvas pad. Well, it's not black canvas. It's black paper canvas. So it's it's just paper that has a canvasy texture. So I was just taking this and screwing around with my metallics from my creamer set. And it doesn't really do them any favors. I mean, they pop on here for color, but you don't see a whole lot of the shine. I was just making marks and stuff. It was, uh, I don't know. It's not what I how I thought it was going to look. I don't see the flash so much when you move it. Uh, anyway, beware of the black canvas paper. Um, Well, we'll just plow on until Dave gets around to answering me here. Um, I'll make a little bit more paint. And this one will do the way I did the first one, just on regular watercolor paper. Come here, babe. What's the matter? Come on. Go lay down. Baby's bed. Baby's bed. That's a nice girl. Um, probably after her uh, recovery, Eileen. I'm going to leave that up to her to see when she feels up to it. But I think that would be very, very cool. So we're going to do that at some point. in here. Um, what were you? Oh, oh, that was the Mayan dark. this on my oh I don't think we can stream when we're doing that I don't think they're gonna let us go there and take a class and make it public while we're there I would doubt that very much my water's just about black again I have one jar that's sort of not <laughs> This is lunar blue. That was Mayan. Dark. You guys probably get bored to death watching me just slap watercolors around not making anything. That's too bad for you. I don't know what to tell you. This is what I do. This is the juniper green. You guys... I don't know if anybody has that color, but that's probably my favorite color. If I had to have a favorite color, and of course it's not showing true on the screen, but 
Uh, 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 uh. That's all I got to say. So I need more purples. I'll choose this one. That's core. Let's get some of that going up here. See if that takes over the juniper. Alright, now I'm going to go down to a different area. This is lunar black. Sure, I'm a sloppy paint mixer. I gotta tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna drop some of this dark blue in there too with this. See what happens with that. See if that'll make that granulate along with it. If one overpowers the other, I do not know. I don't, I can't imagine doing a night sky that doesn't have blue in it, Dorothy. I did do one that was all different colors a while ago, but eh, it doesn't, it just doesn't wow me. <laughs> um, I wanted a purple in here. What do I want? What do I want? Let's do some amethyst. I look at all my sparkles and where I was looking <laughs> Metallics. Uh, let's do any juniper in here, maybe. Let's get some regular black. Here we go with the snores again. sunset I actually do want to do a um, like a sunset with clouds um, I will do that at some point actually because I, I've been wanting to do that trying to do clouds um, lost my train of thought squirrel <laughs> Give me some of my turquoise. I'm a little dainty girl, snoring like a truck driver. Now on screen, that doesn't look like as many colors as I'm seeing here in person.
Mm -hmm. This is head of Mosinite. What did I say went really good? Oh, the lunar blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we may get some steamed crabs tomorrow. It's so nice here. Um, it's comfortable to be outside now course where am I inside in my basement but don't follow my lead people um Mayan blue dark that looked pretty with the end of the night too maybe we're gonna have to go to the boo boo doctor on Monday I know you don't like it, but we're going to have to do that, I think. That's my husband, I think. Oh, he'll be home in 20 minutes. That's good. Hopefully he hasn't eaten because I'm starving. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? Let's do some of this. This is the um, peerless turquoise. And oh, here's mine dark. Let's get some of mine dark mixed in there. This one I'm not doing is uh, strictly following the let this clump dry and let that clump dry and then go back kind of a rule. I'm just sort of, well, you see what I'm doing. <laughs> Amethyst. Let's get some more of this out of here. Which pool was that? I think that was this one. I don't know if I said this earlier, this popped into my little pea brain again, but I got a really good deal on some curtains today. Uh, I went out to look up for some for um, when we paint upstairs. Did you find the, Patty, did you find the jewels that you made two weeks ago? Um, Yeah, I but I'm not 100% sure. Did you mean the one where I had like all the different like diamond shapes and all the earth tones and metallics? Is that the one you met, Rihanna? Or do you mean the one where I tried to do crystals? And each crystal with, with um, what's that called? Masking fluid between it. But I, I think I did. I found something, whether it's what you're talking about or not, I'm not sure. Maybe that's a better way to phrase that. <laughs> I 
I did. Um, oh, I did. <laughs> I wonder where it is now. Oh, hang on. Hiding stuff for myself. Is that what you mean? That's a mess if you really look at it. I tore paper off. All these big splots of white are where I had the masking fluid down. Then I dropped something on top of it and smashed it out. And... Um, the paper tore here. It, it, this is a mess. But this was just, and it was not dry when I was wiping the salt off and smudged everywhere. But I learned a lot doing it. So it's okay that it's all hosed up. Um, and then it's got a lot of the metallics on there. Yeah, so. Um, and these are those four colors I swatched. You can see the metallics on here nicely now. These are the cloves and honey set, the metallics, metallics, incandescent set. This is the gold slumber. See how, how much more you can see the shine in there now. This one's a sunken treasure, but here I had, I still had pink in my brush. Um, here's a more true color, the sunken treasure. Kind of a greeny gold. And then here's Dr. Girlfriend. And this one's purple rain. And then the crystals. I did find those and I showed them to everybody last week, I thought. Yeah, here they are. Actually, I found them in the trash can. I threw the, I threw the page out because it wasn't, you know, it was just sort of there. It wasn't anything to write home about. But that's the, the crystals. that I attempted to do. Remind me to show you these before I shut down. These came out pretty cool. Of course, now I don't know what the hell they were, but, you know, that's the fun of it. <laughs> um, you know what I might use? I might use some black ink um, instead of black watercolor. Where would I find? Probably with my ink drawer, of course. Here's this black India ink. I don't know if I should use this. Because see how like gray washed out that got right away? And I know I can glaze, well, let's try glazing over it first with some more, more watercolor. Still say you should cut them out and send them so when he makes cards to use as toppers if you don't want them. I probably should. But that's probably not going to happen anytime soon because I just don't have time to do anything extra at this point in my life. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get something bright in here. Wow, that went a long ways. And it's still kind of bright. You know, I wonder what happened if I sprayed it. Going into those edges there. Yeah, that's better. I like that better. Oh, <laughs> instead of throwing them in the trash. I did pull them out of the trash, though. Woo! Oh, my gosh. It's a little cray-cray right now. Now I'm just trying to do this so I can get something done while before my husband gets home. Not that he cares. 
he could care less if I stay down here till midnight, but I'm getting hungry. He left at 6.30 this morning. <laughs> Try to get that wet again for his uh, golf outing. Oh, which one was that? Let's put this in there since I got it right here in my hand. Babe, good night, girl. We're going to see the boo-boo doctor Monday. Yes, we are. We're going to take you to the boo-boo doctor. Something not right there. Hi, Mick. I'm not sure. Is that a new name? Or is that somebody that's abbreviated themselves on me again? <laughs> um... Try to glaze over this black again. And then a little. Let that work again. See what's going to happen there. And this is the core purple. Dioxazine. This looks like uh, this juniper under here. Is like holding a hard edge. I got to really kind of work at that to get that to reconstitute so that I don't uh, see that hard edge or where that teal color stopped there. Well, I'm glad, Mick, because that's about all I can do with watercolor is play. I can't, uh, I'm not somebody to sit here and do a still life or that kind of stuff. See how that held that edge right there? Even when I painted over it, it's not like reconstituting like the other ones do. Huh. Interesting. some lunar blue in there while that's still wet. See what happens with that. What's going to go down here? Good lord, babe. <laughs> My little lady. I need some lunar blue should go in there. Yeah, I'll have to keep that in mind next time I use the um, the liquid watercolor straight that they um, they have a sharp line when they soak into the paper. Oh my god. You should see her about 2 a.m. when everything's quiet and she's laying next to the bed. Oh my god. One day last week, it was so bad, Dave took her to the guest bedroom at the other end of the house and uh, slept with her down there so I could try to get some sleep. I was ready to shoot myself. Like, sweet Lord. I I like to hear, um, like when I was a kid and my mom would be downstairs working after we went to bed. She's in the kitchen doing dishes and that kind of random white noisy kind of stuff going on in the background that puts me to sleep but like a clock ticking it's a steady noise like that I could shove a pencil into my temple um and like her snoring at a rhythm like that whoo doggy keeps me awake I can't that drives me crazy and I know she can't help it but we're gonna see what we can do to help her out I'm not wild about this one. Not much at all. I think it's because of the way these dried with those hard edges. Let me see if I can do anything about that. At this point. What could I do? 
Oh crap, I got... I dipped some... I got some purple into my black liquid watercolor. Well, maybe that's a ticket. Let that run a little bit. Pissy purple looks like what? N I S E? What's N I S E? Did you spell something wrong, Elaine, or do I just not know what you're talking about? <laughs> Lordy girl. I think we should splatter something. What shall I splatter? I'm going to go with the rose gold. I really like that mix. I really, really do. This is the one I made from the silver and the bronze. I must make more of that. Look at that stuff. Yummy. Oh, it's a gen color. And there you have it. And there's still a lot on my brush. All right, I'm going to go back and see if I can get before I sign off. Oh, Lord, babe. Um, this is pretty saturated, this piece of paper. Right. So here's where we started. Remember I was mixing all the weird colors together? Um, this was lunar blue and green gold. And I just mixed stuff together that you normally, I wouldn't normally think people would mix together. Just to see what happened with the granulation. This one is Amazonite and Lunar Blue. Focus. Won't you please focus? There we go. Now you can see a little bit better what I see here. That's pretty cool. This was Dr. Girlfriend and Dark Mayan, Mayan Blue Dark or Mark, Mayan Dark Blue. I forget what it's called. I almost see a penis in there. Um, this was serpentine green serpentine genuine and lunar blue that's pretty cool isn't it and this was lunar black and fallow turquoise which i think is what lunar blue is if i remember correctly and it kind of looks like it down in that area focus not going to focus okay so this was purple rain one of the cloves and honey colors and mayan blue dark and nothing really big happened there like one overpowered the other this was pretty cool this was um undersea green and amazonite and you can see oh this is bumping the camera sorry uh you can see down here in this area of the blend, that's a really cool green, and it's got a little bit of the sparkle from the Amazonite in there that I don't believe is going to show up properly on the camera. See you pain in the ass. Why won't you focus? Oh, 
There we go. Sweet mama. I'm going to try to keep going. That was, I think, Amethyst Genuine and Lunar Blue. It's pretty cool. Oh, God. I don't know why this does this where it won't focus. Oh, hell with it. This one is that Dr. Girlfriend and Mayan Blue, I believe. And this is the Sugalite and the Lunar Blue. But see that Lunar Blue, how pretty that is when that breaks up? It would look even prettier if it focused. Oh, this is that Andathrone Blue and Amazonite. That's really pretty. That does some pretty stuff in there. This was Dr. Girlfriend and Amazonite. And you can really see the sheen on that pink. And the, and the Amazonite has its own sheen, so it kind of blended there. And that was Amethyst Genuine and Amazonite. And it's got its own little sheen on both ends. And this was Lunar Blue and Amethyst Genuine. That's really cool what that did. There's your daddy. This, I think, was Lunar Blue and Andathrone, but it kind of took over. <laughs> and then this one was the Lunar Blue and the Andathrone that we kept them separate. Hey, babe. Hey, what's yours? Streaming, just wrapping up. Okay, I'm going upstairs. Okay, I'll be up shortly. How'd you do? Huh? How'd you do today? Hey, oh, good. Shot 40 on the front. It kind of blew up on the back. Shot 47 on the back. Well, it's still not bad. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, I'll be up in a little bit. <laughs> oh, a boy and his dogs. Um, so... Let me go try to see what's dried that we've done. And these really lightened up. Pretty though. I like the way this rose gold kind of whipped out through these. This one still has a kind of a wet spot down there. But see how that the rose gold and that Pacific Lagoon or look at that one whole area up there. Hello, lover. And then here's kind of that eye of the stormish looking swirl with all that sediment from the lunar blue and the lunar black. And look how this how that rose gold there swept through there. That's lunar black, lunar blue up here where it broke down. It looks like it's pepper. Maybe, maybe not. But look how this purple moves. And look at this over here. That's that. Uh, I just said it. Pacific Lagoon. That's pretty wild, huh? Um, hang on. But the other one, and this is the one I said that oh, the black dried much lighter than I thought it was going to. I thought this was going to be a cool one to do a galaxy on, but oh gosh. See how much lighter that, remember where all these, these big uh, bold lines were real black? Look how they grayed down. And it might be because all the metallics that I laid in there to mix with them lightened it up. I still got some puddles. Um, but they're pretty wild. Look how bright that is with that, that creamer pigment. I'm telling you. Look at that through there. How it lights up. It's like a mirror. A 
chrome or something. Look how that, oh, there's different swirls and you can't hate that, people. And then this canvas, not canvas, but the board <clears throat> that I redid. Let's see what that's doing. That's still staying brighter than it was. So this is the one that I did that came out very pastel-y and washed out. And here it is. Still got some puddles. So I don't want to tip it around too much. But you can see that schmincke medium underneath of there. This one might end up kind of looking kind of galaxy-ish. See those plops underneath of there? And some of them, it washed around them instead of going over them. And they kind of... This was really washed out. This is, if that dries like that, that's going to, you can't tell on here. Colors don't look the same. But everything re-wet as I, for those that came on later, as I started to paint over that, of course, everything reactivated. And um, just kind of blended into a mess. And then I kind of used the mess to my advantage. <laughs> You see where these kind of blood out some it's still wet Oop, and running oh i'm not paying attention look i got a streak now that's all right i'm not that wild about this one anyway it's not a big big loss if it hoses up at this point all right this is this somewhere oh and i forgot about this one remember this one we did on the block um it's got a lot of it grayed out here but that's a lot of silver but this let me get the salt off of here now falling everywhere anyway. The salt acted nicely on here though. Look at the all this through here. It's kind of cool. The textures I got with the salt and how that purple feathered over here. And the lunar black and blue kind of broke out like pepper. That's kind of cool. Uh, anywho, that's where we are. I almost want to put more black on this. I might let it sit. I'll let it dry. Back away from the painting. So, um, put the lid on that. All right, kids, I'm going to let that go for now. Call that a wrap. I've been on since two, so that's five. Oh, two? No, three. Three o'clock. That's three hours. So that's good. That's about right. Um, is there anything else I was going to tell you? I don't guess so. I think that's it. All right, kids, thanks for hanging out with me. Another impromptu Saturday stream. Um, and uh, I, might, I don't know, I might stream tomorrow at some point. Um, depends on what we're doing. I think we might get some crabs tomorrow. Uh, then we have to see what else is going on. If I have some free time, I'll I'll try to stream again just to continue playing and maybe work on this again and get that somewhere where I can actually maybe do something with it one day. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys. I'm gonna quit the uh, stop the YouTube recording now. Bye YouTube. Thank you.